apart from the Bible? What about the ego and the eaglet? There is a clear manifestation of suppression between the ego and the eaglet. Ego has the little eaglet in the nest. The ego will continue to feed the eaglet, continue to provide for the eaglet, continue to take care of the eaglet, will do everything to protect the eaglet, but it will get to a point that the same ego hmm, will begin to nudge the nest, which is the house, the habitation of the eaglet. And when that is done, after a while, the ego will force the eaglet to fly out. This was a nest that once accommodated the eaglet. This was a nest that was its natural habitation in which all that it needed were provided for by the mother eagle. This is the eaglet that was so cared for by the mother eagle. The eaglet that the ego would not allow anything to happen to. But at a point, the same ego will force the eaglet to leave the nest. Because the world out there is wider and better than the nest. That talks about separation. Is in the nature. Nature appreciates and welcomes and accepts separation and division for the development fulfillment of potentials that is inherent in every tribe in every race in every people in every culture in every faith in every inclination the ego reasons more than some of you the ego thinks <laughs> Some of you, the title holders in Ebola land, who are against Biafra restoration. Uh, 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 what are those? Their, some of those, their titles. I don't want to go into there. I don't want to go to that aspect so that some of you will not say uh, he's insulting us. Everything is insult to you. When you hear the truth, he's scratching your body all over, pinching you. He's insult. You have the, the ego's feather. Some of you have one or two on your cap that was a feather that was separated from the wing of the ego that feather on your head with which you receive title is is your title one two three abubu gonagnesi hmm hmm eze chinya dugo kobon na chinya dugo hmm that feather of the eagle that is on your cap, that your red cap, was separated. I told you, I will prove to you that we are manifestation of separation. We are embodiment of separation. Everything around us talks about separation. Every nature. That feather was separated from the wing of the eagle. Now it is on your head. You are a title holder. But Biafra want to separate from Nigeria. No. With the same red cap on which there are ego feathers, on which there are ego feathers, you are still shaking that same head on that cap with the ego feathers that separated from the wing of the ego. Saying, No, 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 Biafra will not separate from Nigeria. But the evidence and manifestation of separation is already on your head. And then the little ego, the eaglet, will now start struggling. All of you, you know how it goes. And then the mother ego will throw it up. And then we go to catch it again. Training the little ego, the eaglet on how to fly. Because the world out there is far more bigger and better than the nest. And after some time, the eaglet will begin to appreciate the effort of the mother, which the eaglet in its earliest stage of mental development was thinking that the mother has become wicked to eat. 
Maybe that time that the eagle was busy forcing the eaglet to try to fly out of the nest and explore the world. The eaglet may be thinking that, oh, oh, oh my mother no, no, no like me again, doesn't love me again, he's trying to punish me, he's hurting me. But after some time, the eaglet will begin to appreciate what the mother eagle did for it. And then, after some years, that once eaglet will now become an eagle. That is how it is. Without separation, that cannot be possible. If the eaglet is not separated from the eagle or separated from the nest, it cannot explore the world. Until the eaglet is separated from the nest, it can never explore the world. Allow Biafra to separate from Nigeria. Nigeria has, has become a nest. What about child bat? So long as you are a human being, you are alive, you are listening to me now, your mother conceived, became pregnant of you, either eight months or nine months, that very automated alarm with a revert began to ring. And then there's a reaction in her womb that you call labor. And then finally, after some processes, after some time, minutes or hours of labor, your mother gave birth to you and you came out. Crying and nah, 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 nah. That is suppression. You were separated from your mother's womb. And the umbilical cord was caught. You are separated from the womb. Remember, this was the womb that accommodated you, that housed you for months. Your mother wouldn't allow anything to touch you, anything to hurt you in the womb. She did all she could to protect and to preserve you. But immediately it is that time that God set, which is the month of delivery. She must submit herself to labor. She must. And that is what Nigeria must do. Nigeria must submit itself or herself to labor. I'm trying to use this illustration for convenience. After all, it's not Nigeria that conceived Biafra, no. But to draw an inference. Some of you the same. You must submit yourself to labor by baiting ideas and support that we aid and accelerate the suppression of Biafra from Nigeria. That is exactly what your mother did. When the labor came, your mother said, no, no this baby are disturbing me. I will, I will not. Uh, I will, I will not go burn you. You must stay there. You will not be separated from me. She would have died if she had resisted that very natural demand and call for labor in order for her to put to birth. Your mother submitted and you were separated from her womb, alive. And you cried the nga nga. Now you are 10 years old, or you are 15 years old, or you are 30 years old, or you are 80 years old. You are embodiment, you are the clear manifestation and testimonial of suppression and division. The same, you have your own children. At a point, your first son has grown up. He's now a man, 25 years old, or 30 years old, or 40 years old. Is he still under your roof? He has separated. He now has his own house, his own wife, his own children. You are now a grandfather. I'm a grandfather. I'm a grandfather. My, my first son in, in wife don't born. That would not be possible without separation. Some of you women, some of you, I'm not saying all of you, that is against Biafra restoration. So they are looking for trouble. May they leave this our country. God go help us in go change you. When your daughter got separated from you, she has come to the age to get married. You'll be pressuring her. Oh, you never see a man. Nobody don't come to marry you. You are busy pressuring her to get married. So that you become grandmother. You are telling her to separate. You are talking about separation. That is exactly, I say I will prove it to you from the Bible, from nature, from things around us that are so common and relative. That we are, and everything about us, are clear testimonials and manifestations and embodiment of separation and division. And your daughter will marry, you are dancing, I'm the mother-in-law, you are demanding, you write marriage list. They will gather. You call people, they will gather. My daughter is getting married. My son is getting married. Oh, you are happy. 
you are happy because they are separating to become independent on their own to have their own families and raise their own children just like you did but you turn around and said no biafra cannot separate from nigeria no nigeria cannot divide you are doing so out of ignorance or out of hypocrisy or out of weakness or out of jealousy out of jealousy